Hello and welcome to the 43rd tutorial in the Cocos 2DX version 3 C++ tutorial series and in this tutorial I want to show you how to set up a menu. This tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 5 if you haven't don't worry there'll be a link in the description to the source code or you can implement it directly into your own project plus there'll be another link in the description to the source code that we produce from this tutorial. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. Once the project's open, just want to go to your CPP and we're just going to add the menu. Like I said, in this tutorial, so setting it up, we're not actually going to be fully creating it. We'll be doing all the next few tutorials. So for this, you just do auto asterisk menu equal to menu colon colon create. And that is it. Oh, we just need to set the position. So menu set position. I'm going to put point. For zero and zero for the X and the Y and finally just add this as a child so add the menu and that is it like I said over the next few tutorials we're gonna look at creating different items and adding it to the menu that's what you do with these with a Cocos 2DX menu you create an item you add it to a menu and the menu is added to the scene at the moment we don't have anything because we haven't actually created the items also I've put the declaration of the menu here if you're going to be manipulating it in any way after the initial initialization uh, of the class then you would want to put this part uh, in the hello world scene or any other header that you have you would want to do menu then you would do asterisk and then web menu name so I don't know menu 2 Actually, that won't be valid because I need Cocos 2D in the front of it. But yeah, you would want something like this. But that's only if you're going to be maybe resizing it at a later date or moving it around if a certain event has occurred. Well, that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to show you how to add a menu font item to our menu. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonosystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description, or you can just comment on this video or directly message us via YouTube. There will also be links in the description to all the required source code. And as usual, thanks for watching and have a nice day.